Treatments for Hypothyroidism. Hi, Dr. Davidson here from ProgressYourHealth.com. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about some of the treatments for hypothyroidism. Before treating hypothyroidism, you need to make sure somebody is actually hypothyroid. Although patient subjective information on how they're feeling is incredibly important, we also want to do some laboratory testing as well to identify hypothyroidism. Some laboratory testing would be a TSH, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone. A thyroid stimulating hormone is a signal from your brain that sends a signal to your thyroid telling it to make thyroid hormone. We also have a free T3 and a free T4. That's important in testing for hypothyroidism. Free T4 is mainly made in the thyroid, and that's where the T4 travels through the peripheral tissues and will convert to T3, the active form of thyroid. Also want to test those antibodies. Antibodies are going to differentiate whether somebody has a hypothyroidism from an autoimmune, um, possibly Hashimoto's hypothyroidism disease, or not, not Hashimoto's or not autoimmune. Now, conventional medications for treatments are usually Synthroid, Levothyroxine, or Levoxyl. These are commonly prescribed by your conventional physician. I don't really find them very completely effective. Synthroid, Levoxyl, Levothyroxine are just synthetic, form, synthetic forms of only T4. What I tend to find is it doesn't really relieve the hypothyroid symptoms. There are also bioidentical hormone treatments, compounded T3, T4. That's um, what I tend to sway towards when I'm treating patients, is I like to use the compounded T3, T4. That's where the thyroid um, hormone, the compounded T3, T4, is made to look exactly like the human um, thyroid molecules that are made in your own body. So it actually looks exactly like a T3 molecule and looks exactly like a T4 molecule. And when it looks exactly like your own thyroid molecule, it's going to act exactly like how your own thyroid would act. So I find that much more effective in relieving hypothyroid symptoms. There's also what's called natural thyroid. That's different. The compounded form is made to look exactly bioidentically active like your own thyroid, but natural thyroid is actually made from a porcine thyroid, um, porcine being pig. So at the um, piggy farm, the pig's thyroid gets turned into what's called either nature thyroid, west thyroid, or armor thyroid. It's still very clean, but it's derived from a porcine or a pig source, but it does have the components of the T4 and the T3 in them. A lot of times when treating patients for hypothyroid, they've gone and seen their primary care physician or their conventional doctor, and they'll say, why does my doctor say my thyroid is fine, but I feel like I have a hypothyroid problem? And that's because they aren't exactly doing all the proper lo laboratory testing. What your conventional doctor is looking for is if you have thyroid disease. And if you do have Hashimoto's, as I talked to you about just momentarily, um, yes, they are going to pick up that you have Hashimoto's hypothyroid, which is an immune case of hypothyroid. But oftentimes what we find is other patients with hypothyroid that's not from an autoimmune, that's not Hashimoto's, tend to get missed. And that's because most doctors are looking at that TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone which is just a signal from the brain telling the thyroid what to do. So often what we want to test is that free T4 and that free T3. As I said before, your thyroid mainly makes T4, which travels in your bloodstream, and then will peripherally convert to free T3, the active form of thyroid. So I want to see how much T4 is your thyroid making and how much of that T4 is being converted to T3, and that's much more relevant in evaluating thyroid function. Also, people will, patients will come in and they'll say, well, why will my doctor only prescribe Synthroid and they won't do natural thyroid any, or any of this compounded bioidentical thyroid? Why will they only prescribe Synthroid? And that's because most conventional doctors are only tr trained to prescribe Synthroid, Levoxyl, or Levothyroxine, those um, synthetic versions of T4. And they're basing it on those TS TSH levels again. So what we tend to do is we like to do the bioidenticals or the natural thyroid. So dosages need to be prescribed based on your T3 and your T4 levels as well as that TSH. If you have any other questions or you want some more information, visit our website, www.progressyourhealth.com.